Hello everybody, welcome back to the URM Academy channel. If you are a rock and metal producer, then this is your home on YouTube. And today, we've got a clip for you about something that I think we've all struggled with, which is managing the ring in a snare drum. And this clip is from our MixLab library. MixLab is a collection of bite-sized mixing tutorials. I think there's like 50 or 60 in there now, and we add more every month. So if you like this and you wanna get instant access to tons and tons more like it, then sign up for Nailed Mix, and those will be waiting for you when you log in. So hope you like it, and with that out of the way, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to MixLab, I'm Joel Wanasek, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get the ring out of a snare drum. So let's have a listen to this mix, it's got a really ringy snare drum in it. So this is pretty simple to do. I would generally just cut around a snare like this and then adjust the cycle record and have it listen to it in solo. You hear that ringing sound? So grab an EQ with the narrowest cue you can do. hear where that ring is the most strong it's somewhere between 100 and you know 275 hertz and 285 uh there's definitely a bit of a, a range here to it but you know we're just going to attack the range on a bit of a broadband basis here Okay, so we've pulled that out, and now the snare is going to be a lot deader sounding with no ring and punchier. So you can hear there's clearly a difference. It's more of an issue of taste. Now there's one other consideration that's worth mentioning when it comes to this. And that is the cue width is going to affect the tone of the snare as well as the remove the ring. So let's go to 282 Hertz and let's do a super narrow cue of 100. Now I'm gonna pull that out of here. Now what happens if I widen up the cue a little bit? So let's go to around 50. That pulls a lot more ring out because we're widening and pulling some of the adjacent frequencies out, but we're starting to lose some mid range. Same thing, you see? The wider we get on the cue, the better it removes the ring, but the less punch in mid range. So we would either have to add some additional EQ here to compensate, for example, you know, maybe doing something like this, or we could adjust the cue to get it just right. So let's put the cue somewhere in the middle. And that sounds pretty good, so let's hear it. So there you go, that's how easy it is to remove the ring from a snare drum. As you can see, you have to pay attention to the cue width and you may or may not have to add some additional EQ to support the loss of either punch or mid range depending on what frequency range the ring is in. Okay, hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully next time you've got to deal with some ring in a snare drum, you will have some new tools to tackle that. Again, this is part of our Mix Lab series. It's uh, like 50, 60 tutorials or something now about anything under the heading of mixing. 
When you join Nail The Mix, you will get instant access to all of them. So if that sounds cool to you, then head over to nailthemix.com, sign up, and get ready to dig in.